Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today it's a leftover makeover meal. Turkey! Mother's Day feast. Look at that. And we haven't even unstuffed the turkey. Now, payday's Friday, and so we're money's always tight the last few days before payday. So what I've got here is kind of a you know leftover makeover pantry stock meal. I have one cup of dried corn, one pint of turkey gravy, a package of uh, instant honest earth creamy mashed potatoes. I have a tub of turkey and two shallots from the garden. These are from my Egyptian walking onions. They're just nice and green right now and uh, because I have no onions in the house. So this is what we have to work with. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to fill up my pint jar that has the cup of dried corn in it. It's dried sweet corn and I'm just going to fill that up and set it aside over here to let that hydrate. I'm also going to do my mashed potatoes next. Why? Because I want them to cool down enough that I can put an egg in them. Now there's just two of us, so it's going to be a thick mashed potato topping, but if I have any left over, Howie will definitely take it to work in his lunch. Now I'm just going to add some boiling water to this last of my boiling water and some butter and some milk now if I was really low on supplies you don't have to put the milk or the butter in why because it's instant I just always do it to make them thicker and creamier you're gonna need an egg too but again you don't necessarily have to have the egg okay and now I'm just going to crack the egg in. We, like I said, you don't want it too hot. I'm going to add some garlic powder because garlic goes good with everything. Now, if I had leftover stuffing, I would use that in a layer, but I don't. So, we're just going to mix this all in. You want to make sure your egg is and your garlic is completely mixed in. You put whatever seasonings in that you want. Okay, now we have that organized. I'm going to set that aside. Now I'm going to take my meat and I'm just going to, oh, there's a little bit of grizzle. There you go, Grace. And I'm just going to make sure it's in bite-sized pieces. When I stripped the turkey, I didn't necessarily cut this up into bite-sized pieces so I'm just going to make sure that it is and that is going to get all dropped into our buttered casserole dish like so that's a lot of turkey man and then I'm just gonna Slice up my onions and sprinkle them in there. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. There we go. Now this is going to be really hearty. Okay, because we have gravy, I'm not really concerned if this doesn't completely rehydrate. I should have done it a little earlier, but you know what? I'm just going to strain the rest of this boiling water off. If you want your corn completely rehydrated, do this an hour ahead of time, but I'm just not worried about it because there's going to be moisture coming out of those green onions and oh my goodness, here comes the gravy. 
Look at that beautiful stuff. And I'm just going to plop this all over the vegetables. Don't worry if it doesn't spread. It will. As soon as it starts to heat up, it will liquefy. So I'm just going to make sure that there's an even amount throughout. Okay, let's just spread it then. Yeah, okay. That works. Just a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Okay. We know Papa's going to pepper it anyway, but you know what? Let's just get that on there. And now, I'm going to get my ice cream scoop. And I'm just going to start scooping kind of even amounts. You've seen me make this before, folks, but you know what? It's different every time I make it. Why? Because the... De it all depends on what ingredients I have on hand, right? Into the oven, that goes. 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. Okay, the timer has gone off. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just let that sit and rest. And when Papa comes home, mm -mm -mm, we'll be having some of that. All right, Daddy's pulling in the driveway. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the, co the corn could have soaked. A little longer, but it is still deliciously edible. Mm, mm, mm. Now everybody will say I well peppered this. <laughs> now it's pepper. It's a leftover makeover turkey dinner. Watch it, baby. It's hot. Awesome and tasty. Thanks, honey. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying once again, if you got leftovers and a few things in the pantry, you've got a nutritious, delicious meal. Take care. God bless.